Hello, this is Nada Spring Chick, and the hot news today is, oh, not that the president is taking credit for the unemployment figures going down, or is it that, oh yeah, Summer Redstone, head of Viacom, is extremely upset because Viacom decided to change the timing of the MTV Video Music Awards, so what, because it was coinciding with the president's speech? Hmm, especially if you were on the East Coast, so, you know, you can't interfere with that. Anyway, well, for now, we're going to bring old Kem on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what they said this morning. They said that the Obama speech last night blew everyone away, that, um, that it was the most important speech given in this nation's history. Um, of course, the problem was, was it was the same speech that he gave four years ago, exactly, except he downsized all his ambitions that uh, he's no longer, but uh, it is a very important though, the Republicans don't want to help you. Republicans only want to help themselves. Well, you know, I, this is Rex's little brother because Rex basically sort of ran away. He went to join the Obama campaign, so this is Rex too. But um, I got it, he, he loves Obama too, so I got to cover his ears. Little businesses are represented by Republicans. The working people are represented by Republicans. Only the only unions and big businesses represented by the Democratic Party. And when the morons, this is what they're being responsible. I mean, this is what the De this is what the left party, the left press is calling people that are going to vote for Obama no matter what. It's called the moron vote. Mm -hmm. They dubbed it that the moron vote. And last night there were 20,000 of them in the arenas that didn't listen to a single thing that was being said. All they knew that their, their God was in front of them. And, and that was quite one of the reasons why Obama changed the thing because they were talking about how that, that the Democrats believe in a higher deity. Mm -hmm. And he was on the stage last night. And unions blast Governor Jerry Brown's pension plan. Yeah, the Democrats can't. Uh, the Democrats have got it through, finally figured out. We can't pay these bills that other Democrats left for us. We can't raise taxes because there is no money to get. Okay, uh, an example is, I'm on my Facebook site. I really have some people that are idiots. I mean, we're going to have to force businesses to stay in California so that they can pay the taxes we need to get you know, to, to have our, our perks paid for us. Um, well, yeah, you really want to force a business to stay here because they'll sue the hell out of you, move out anyway, and the courts will win, courts will always eventually side with them. We got the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals is basically, uh, you know, siding with the people that are suing these people that are passing these moronic laws. Like, well, we're just going to seize, pers we're going to seize all the bank property and we're going to give it back to the people that owned the originally that owned the property that had it seized by the banks, and then when they can afford to pay for the property, then we'll start a new payment plan with them. Uh, and then one of the one of the judges said, "God, I want that program. I'm going to start paying on my house immediately." <laughs> yeah. So that basically, the, if the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals thinks it's a joke, you can't seize private property. You know, uh, unless it's in the interest of the public, you know, and it's not, it's the interest of tax base is all it's interested in. That's not the public, you know, to pay what pays. So, it's not the, for social programs, it's to pay pensions for union workers. And a documentary that claims to expose the president's true political nature. Well, yeah, basically uh, they ran that documentary, I think, free of charge for anybody that wanted to see it last night, and it was packed. Because they did. Th th here's the problem is, is that the Democrats cannot stand the light of day. It's just like um, when we go to a consumer electronics event and all the flat screen TVs are in the dark. Because if you show, if you put them in a house situation, they don't look as good. If you listen to what the president and his people say, you, God, those people are idiots. I mean, like ta the best way to solve the problems is to raise taxes and increase regulations and that will cause the economy to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's never grown either direction. In England, my, uh, I have my family over there is worried about being tossed out of their place for the simple reason the government, okay, they, they're not working because the wedding business is dead in England, and the government wants to raise taxes on people's wealth, not on how much money they make, but wealth. 
Well, I mean, if you put, okay, they've got a manor and they've got like 400 acres of ground, they're really well off. Uh, far as I know, they haven't worked in years. Mm -hmm. So. And Anne Romney urges Hispanic voters to get past their biases. Well, yeah, because, okay, the, um, they said they probably, I, I think, uh, was it Car uh, Carolyn Kennedy buried the President of the United States and a lot of the Hispanic vote last night when she came out about abortion on demand and all of this stuff. Ooh. They said they could get by on the birth control, but when it comes to a woman should be able to have an abortion for any reason, any time, and Catholic churches should, uh, hospitals are hospitals, they should treat the people equally to come in for them. They said the, uh, this is what happened on the scale with the Hispanic and Afro-American voters when she got, as she was going, the, the, the chart kept going like that for Obama. Mm -hmm. So they're now only figuring 9% of the vote out there will be Hispanic and, and Afro-American. It's going to be a white ouch. vote. And Obama ouch. cannot win a white vote. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And super volcano could kill millions near side of Pompeii. Yeah, uh, basically the Herculean is getting ready to go off again. Okay, this is a good one. You know that you're building homes on a site that was totally destroyed, you know, and you know it's biblical destruction, folks. So guess they built on the mountain sides and everything again, and the caldera is building all up again for another kaboomer. Ooh, and Secret Service detail leaves gun unattended on Long Beach Live. You know that's, that this is this is the third time they've done that. I know. Why do they keep doing uh, that? Because that's, I, I'm I'm getting an idea that Obama supporters and the Secret Services are telling Romney that he's uh, that he's not safe. Oh. Yeah. Remember, this is how Chicago politics works. They basically will get you one way or the other. You know they'll 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 have they'll intimidate you intimidate you and the guns being left on a plane are intimidation factors that you're not protected. Oh, that yeah. you're, you're and they have you guys are being sloppy. Yeah, well, no, they have basically replaced those entire. This is three times they have replaced all those people, and this time, the uh, Republicans picked the Secret Service agents that were around George Bush to do the job because they said that. Um, that Obama, basically, Obama's people are put, appointing people they know that aren't going to protect any of the Republicans. And Rudy Giuliani, oh really? Yeah. Oh. It's intimidation. It's intimidation. Rudy Giuliani, election between Mr. Cool and Mr. Confident. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Cool and Mr. Confident. Okay, there was no, okay, last night, Barack Obama came out as an arrogant son of a bitch last night. I mean, totally arrogance, you know. The only thing he didn't do was have his, uh, you know, jacket over his shoulder and Frank Sinatra's hat and a, and a glass mm -hmm. of a drink in his hand because he was playing Mr. Cool last night because... Oh my God. And, uh, and uh, I, say, I know about arrogance because anybody that knows me knows that I'm about as arrogant as they come in the universe, so I can, I'm an expert on arrogance. <laughs> She'll tell you that, so... <laughs> And Bill urges more illegal workers to pay California taxes. Uh, yeah, okay. We're going to, okay, the, you're, you're here illegally. You should be thrown out of the country, but instead of being thrown out of the country, we're going to, we want you to come in and pay the taxes you're not paying. Uh, yeah, that's called stupidity. Okay, most of them are stupid. They think, the Democrats think they're stupid. I mean, you're going to go tell people where you live and who you're working for because the feds go after the businesses they're being hired by while they're keep letting, and that's a good one, that's really, instead of tossing the workers out, they fine or shut down the business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It does put them on the record though, so if Romney wins, they go out the next day. And Clinton says the U.S. can work with China in the Pacific. No, they can't because China wants to take the Pacific, so this is Hillary at work. Okay, this morning, Hillary had to go against Obama's things and declare one of Obama's pet pet parties in, in the Middle East as a terrorist organization because both House and Republicans uh, and Democrats, basically, House and Senate and Republicans, decided these people are terrorists. We just gave a billion dollars and they're terrorists. So this morning they stopped the money going to them and declared them terrorists. And California legislature approves pension changes. Yeah, which is why they're unhappy with Brown. They, okay, they don't have the money and they're not going to get a tax. Okay, well, we're only going to increase taxes on the wealthy in this country. Since they started that stupid thing, the wealthy have been leaving the state. We're talking 
not only the Republican wealthy, but the, for some reason the Democratic wealthy are also leaving the state. Oh, imagine that. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, that, uh, that, I'm just going to quote something that from an episode of MASH I was on from Alan Hawkeye. He said that everything that you have said tonight has been very interesting. Unfortunately, it lacked one important detail, the truth. Oh! <laughs>